Bonjour et bienvenue à Eco French. Welcome to Eco French. In this lesson, we're going to cover articles in French. In French, nouns are usually preceded by articles. Articles are the little words that are placed in front of the noun that indicate the gender or number of the noun. So we're going to be covering indefinite articles, definite articles, partitives, and gender. The indefinite articles, un, un une, are used exactly the same as English indefinite articles, a and and. It is used when referring to a single instance that is part of a group that consists of many entities. So for example, un chapeau, un ballon, une maison, une cuisine. So un is your masculine indefinite article, une is a feminine indefinite article. The plural indefinite article de is used when referring to more than a single entity. It is not used when general statements are made about a group. For example, I see birds on the tree. Je vois des oiseaux sur l'arbre. Notice birds in English doesn't have a indefinite article in front of it because English is different in that um, every word, every noun does not always have a definite article in front of it. Whereas you have des oiseaux, it's birds in English. Another example, Claire sells flowers. Claire vend des fleurs. So again, notice uh, flowers in English and it's des fleurs in French. Des fleurs is plural, flowers is plural, so we're using des as our indefinite plural article here. Okay, that's very important. Des fleurs, flowers. Definite articles, le, la, and les are basically equivalent to the English the. Anytime the is used in English, a definite article will surely be used in French as well. However, in some cases, French will use definite articles when English will not use one at all. Par exemple, for example, in English we say houses, in French we say les maisons, les maisons. So there is a definite article in front of maison, les maisons. This also includes time when a group of noun is referred to in its entirety. Par exemple, for example, whales are the largest animals in the world. Les baleines sont les animaux les plus grands du monde. So in English, we have whales, and in French, we have les baleines. So whales has no definite article in front of it. It's just whales. Also, when a noun is referred to in general sense, there is no definite article. Par exemple, for example, he likes summer more than winter. Il aime l'été plus que l'hiver. So in English, you have summer, and in French, we have l'été. Notice we don't say le été because we have two vowels clashing each other, okay, and that can't happen. So we drop the e, the i, and we place a l apostrophe, l apostrophe, and it becomes l'été, okay? So that's why it's l'été and not le été. Names are not usually preceded by articles. The definite articles usually precedes the name of countries, except when it follows the preposition en en de. Par exemple, for example, la France, l'Egypte, les États-Unis, la Chine. So if we do an example in a sentence, I'm going to Egypt, je vais en Egypte, je vais en Egypte. So en is not an article, it is a préposition, it's a preposition, so we have to have en here, okay? En Egypte, je vais en Egypte. Whenever the definite article, le or le, follow the preposition, a or de, the preposition and article fuse together. Le becomes o, la becomes a la, and le becomes o, with an x at the end. If the definite article follow the preposition de, le becomes du or de l apostrophe, le becomes de la or de l apostrophe, and le becomes de. So, let's do an example so it can make sense. Pierre is speaking to the nurses. Pierre parle aux infirmières. So here we have O, A, U, X, A, U, X, aux infirmières. Okay. Infirmière is pluriel, it's a plural noun, so we have to have O in front of infirmière. Let's do another example. Christine returns from Mexico tomorrow. 
Christine revient du Mexique demain. So Christine revient demain du Mexique. So from Mexico becomes du Mexique. Du Mexique. A partitive article consists of the preposition de followed by a definite article du or de la. It is frequently used before a singular noun that represents something that can be divided into small parts like liquid or food. Par exemple, I drink red wine during dinner. Je bois du vin rouge pour le dîner. So here you see English says red wine, French says du vin rouge. There's du here, okay? So we don't say some red wine. French says some red wine. Du vin rouge, so that's the difference. So let's talk about French article and how they relate to gender and number. The first thing we need to understand is people, places, and things in French have gender. Whereas in English, it's only people who have gender. It's different in French. People, places, and things have gender. A good way to tell what gender a noun is is by looking at the article that is in front of it. If the article in front of it is masculine, feminine, or plural, then you know automatically the noun is masculine, feminine, or plural. Let's do an example. Une petite maison. Une is a feminine indefinite article. Petite is a feminine adjective. Maison is a feminine noun. Another example. Les belles fleurs. Les is your plural definite article. Belle is your plural adjective. And fleur is your plural noun. So as you see, everything matches with the same gender. Another example, un joli sourire. Un joli sourire, a beautiful smile. So un is your indefinite article, masculine, singular. Joli is your Adjective, okay, it's masculine singular, and sourire is a masculine singular noun. Everything matches in number and gender. So I hope you have enjoyed this lesson. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell, that way anytime I post a new lesson, you will be notified right away. Et on se dit à la prochaine. We'll see you soon. Au revoir.